So welcome to the class guys. Uh, super excited to be cutting hair with you guys. I'm, I'm doing this live every Tuesday. So excited, got a technique for you guys. We're gonna go over long, a long layered haircut, something you can change your clients into, but something that's kind of simple. It's not a crazy change, but also a fun haircut to do and it'll change things up in the salon. Um, so I wanna show you guys a fun round layer technique that we're gonna go through. So. Section pretty simple, triangle in the front, that's gonna be our fringe area. Basically, I, I just look at the two points of the triangle here are gonna be right along the edge of the eyebrow, and then we come up to about that curve, where that curve happens. So if you take your comb and you kind of place it on the head right here, it's where that bend happens. Where the hair wants to fall forward, that's where you should put the fringe. Then uh, throughout the technique here, we have uh, we went center parting and then split the head in half. The goal here is to make sure that you follow the hairline down. So you get the same density here and then the same density up on the front half of the head. So just look for that line and draw it down. I did the same thing on the opposite side. So you can see that there. And then the last section is this cat eye looking section right here in the top of the head. Um, that we took out in the crown. So we are gonna start off in our side panels here. We're gonna cut rounded shape into the haircut. And we're gonna start right here on our right-hand side panel. And I'm gonna do some condensed cutting because for me, uh, especially if I'm working with a client that has medium to fine texture, then I can just take this in one section, uh, especially when you're working with a stationary guide. So understand that a stationary guide means that you're bringing everything to the same point, cutting it off. Stationary guides can also help the workflow, help you work a little bit faster. But um, if you condense too much hair together and your scissors aren't sharp enough, or it's just too much for the scissor to get through, you're not gonna get a clean line. So you wanna make sure, uh, understand the density of your guest. And then once you understand that, then you can kind of dictate whether you wanna take it in one section, two sections, three sections, whatever uh, works best for you. All right, so we got our right-hand side section. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be combing that away from me. And the reason I chose to comb away from my body is because I want to be cutting from short to long, right? So anytime, if, if I want to be cutting uh, from inside out, then I would comb it from the other side of the head. So just understand where you want that combing to be, the reason why that matters is because no matter what, when you cut hair, you're pushing a little bit of a weight line. So I wanna come through here and just go through and cut my interior or my exterior to the interior of the haircut, just like this. Get it nice and clean at the root. I'll go with the tight teeth of the comb for my last couple comb through, just like that. And I'm basically mimicking the forehead. So we'll come in, I'll start my cut just like that. I'll recomb now because I lose tension past that second knuckle. Recomb and finish off my line. Now that pops a ton of layers into this haircut already. So you can see as I comb it down, we'll get a little bit of layering and then some of the, the hair going into that face frame. Now I don't want to change my body position when I move to the other side of the head. So I'll take out this section and now I'm just gonna bring everything to me. The reason for that is the same reason we cut, I wanted to cut from the exterior in. So now I wanna cut exterior in as well. I wanna do it the exact same way. You don't wanna come over here and now comb everything up like this and then cut interior to exterior because you're just changing up your line. You're not keeping that consistency. So keep your consistency as you go through it. Stay consistent with your body position. The more consistent we are with our body positioning, the more consistent our haircut's gonna be. So I'll comb this up and I'll grab a little bit from the opposite side as a guideline, just like that. I'll bring this up to me. So just like this, I can see my guide through. If you can't see your guide, then just take a little bit less hair, comb, and then remember, recomb because you lose tension, come through and cut. So now you can see the layers and how they're popping through the head. So now we're gonna connect into the back. The way that I'm gonna do that is I wanna cut interior to exterior again. So we're continuing that flow backwards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my first section, I want my elbow to be out. 
The reason you want your elbow to be out is because it's gonna give you more freedom to kind of lift up. So I'm here, a little more freedom to move that elbow up and shift and get a nice little concave feel to the round layers that we're gonna put into the haircut. So I'll come over here, grab a little bit from what we just cut, and then I'll grab from the back. So this is what we previously cut. So I'm gonna clip that away like that. And then I'm gonna grab some new hair and I'm gonna slide a clip up underneath. So now I've got this vertical section, right? I'm gonna elevate it up in the air. I'm gonna give my elbow some freedom to move, just like this, and I'm gonna come up. And there's my previously cut section right there. So there's not gonna be much hair in this new section, but as we move through it, there'll be more and more. And now we're traveling. So I let that section go, grab some new hair. That, and just keep working our way around the head. And just so you guys are staying with me, the cat eye that's sitting on top, this is all getting cut underneath it. We're gonna do some texturizing into that at the end. Turn, grab a little bit more new hair. Lifting. Cut. There we go, up. And notice when I did the condensed cutting at the top, I grabbed a, bu a bunch of hair at once. When you're traveling around, you can't grab all that hair at once. You have to grab uh, little by little because then you see your guide, but also you're not over directing too much and you're creating a consistent shape throughout. All right, last line should match up with our side. So bring it in here. There we go. So now we haven't touched the baseline of the haircut. So what I like to do once I get the interior of the layers done, then I'll go in and cut the baseline and I'll just clean up the base. And you can create whatever kind of line you want. If you want it to be round, you just follow the round of the head. You don't want the haircut to not look like a cleaned up haircut at the end and have your client's hair get long and straggly. You want, you want to keep it nice and clean. Come in here. Last bit. And you could take that into multiple sections if you want, depending on the client's density. So now we're gonna work this fringe. So what I wanna do is I wanna really get what I've cut already out of the way, and then I'll drop down this fringe. All right, and this is the Evo Razor Pro. So I'm gonna use that to uh, cut this fringe. I like using the razor to cut a fringe because it just creates a little bit more softness to it. I'm gonna go right down the center. I'm gonna work a diagonal forward line just like this. Clip this here. So now I'm just working with this little bit in the front and I can decide what length I want on here. And I, you don't wanna have a lot of tension when you're working in the fringe. So I'm gonna bring this to me. I kind of know the length that I'm going for and I'm just gonna work a nice soft, but quick movement with the razor. I'm not pulling tight. Don't wanna pull tight through it. You can see how soft that line is. So I'll take another section of that fringe down. I'm actually gonna break it up even though I don't really need to, but I really wanna see and create a soft line in here. And notice I'm using the wide teeth of the comb. That doesn't pull as much tension. I can see that hair pop through. So there's my guide. And I'm still keeping a nice little balance line through it. The reason I choose to comb up right there is just to give a little elevation to it. Instead of combing everything tight and down, I want it to have a little more of a natural fall to it. There you go. And we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm coming over top like this. I would probably be a little tighter. This is not my ideal body position, but just to show you guys what I'm doing. You can see already though how soft this fringe is. Keep my fingers square. 
you cut that with a scissor, it's just blunt right away. And then you gotta go in and just do some techniques to soften it, which is fine. Or you have a hard line, which some people like that too. I love the way that that kind of will blend perfectly in to the haircut. So the last bit that we have is that cat eye section in the very back. And I'm gonna leave that to the dry cut. So we're gonna take this out and let this kind of fall over. We're gonna blow dry real quick. And then we'll cut the, we'll do some detail work in the haircut. I spend 45 to 60 minutes on a haircut. Um, but I think you have to charge, you know, accordingly to that or what works in your area, what your shop, kind of the clientele that's at your shop. You know, some people enjoy a 60 minute haircut. Some people hate 60 minute haircuts. So, but I think just being thorough is important and keeping it saturated and even saturation throughout, then uh, you're going to get a more consistent haircut for sure. The top I'm going to cut, but I want to do it dry because I just want to add a little texture to it. And it's just a little small piece and you don't have to do everything wet. Dry cutting softens things. All right, let's blow dry. I'm just softly going over the top. I don't want to cut too much length off of them, but if you soften it, it just makes the styling a little easier. So just grazing over the top of it, kind of blending in that fringe. And then the last bit, that, that cat eye section, this is where you just take some of these pieces out and then just work with the razor just to pop a little bit of texture in the crown area. So I'll just grab those pieces. Now we can open up the face with these pieces that we created. All right, and there we go. All right, so just a quick recap. We basically took the uh, center parting triangle out for the fringe, separated the front and back. We started out condensed cutting, bringing everything up to the center, cutting it. That allows to kind of open up the face, creates all these little layers around the face. Then we cut round layering all the way through the back, which allowed us to have kind of this texture, a little bit more collapsed feel. We kept that cat eye section until the very end, cut that with the razor just a little bit, detailed with the razor in the front, and then you get this uh, end result. So hope you guys like it. Hope you can use it in the salon. Let me know in the comments if you have questions. Make sure you join me on the lives every Tuesday. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys on the next class.